Hello, this is Heidi from Scandium Today. My mother, Conglade, and I, we were talking about the holidays and all the wonderful recipes that are coming out. And one of the things that we thought to do was to come up with a series of holiday drinks. And the first one that came to mind was to do a white Glück. And it's actually a Finnish Glück. And I love this type of Glück because it's great to have all the way from October into the winter season when it's really cold outside still and it's, it's going to warm you up and it's really super yummy. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to jazz up your glasses and it's actually going to make your guests want to lick their glasses, believe it or not. So let's put all the ingredients together. So it's pretty simple. I have it in a clear bowl so you can see what we're doing here. So it's four cups of apple cider, one liter. half a cup of raisins, half a cup of almonds, and it's chopped almonds. You know we have to have so, our almonds and raisins. So I have this, a cinnamon stick that I broke into two, but if you don't happen to have it, you can also certainly use ground cinnamon. And that would probably be about a teaspoon. I have one teaspoon of ground ginger. I have um, a teaspoon of cardamom seeds, which is about uh, about seven or eight cardamom seeds. And I have about a teaspoon of cloves. I've also sliced up some red delicious apples, and you can certainly use any apples that you enjoy, and it's gonna help bring out the apple flavor in the apple cider. So there's all kinds of wonderful flavoring you might wanna add to your white glück. There is also some nutmeg or allspice that would be great. Another idea is to add one teaspoon of lemon zest. And as well, I'm going to opt out of using sugar because the, the apple cider really is sweet enough to my taste. But if you do use it, it's probably about two to three tablespoons of sugar if it's really, this apple cider is not sweet enough. So let's head on over to the stove. We're going to act, put this on low heat for 30 minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on low heat. Let this simmer over the stove for about a half an hour. We're going to keep an eye on it, and if we have to, we might do it a little bit longer. You're going to, we want to see it slightly bubble, but not boil. And we're just trying to bring out the flavors with all the wonderful spices that we put into our apple cider. So let's head on back to this in about 20 minutes and see how this looks. Okay, so now it's been about 20 minutes. Mm, oh, it smells so amazing. And it's bubbling a little bit, just like we wanted. We don't want this to boil. If it is, just you know, take it off the heat a little bit or turn it down. Make so sure. now I'm gonna let this stand over the stove just a little bit longer. Now I have transferred the Ebbe Glück or the White Glück from the pot into a clear bowl. It's so pretty with all the nooks and crannies like the almonds and the raisins and the apples floating in here. You definitely want to show this off. And then another cool trick that I came up with that I think is fun to serve for your, for your friends and guests is to decorate your glasses. So what I have here is caramel or honey and then cinnamon sugar. And this will help decorate the glasses. So what I'm gonna do now, it's so super easy. I'm gonna take the caramel and I'm gonna twist it into the glass, on the, t on the rims of the glass. And then I'm going to put it into the powdered cinnamon sugar. And voila, there you go. It is so pretty. And I'll do one more. And now I'm not gonna do this with the honey. And you can also maybe take maple syrup. That might be another fun idea. Um, you know, people really do like different kinds of flavors. So here you can see that I've coated the rim of the glass with honey. And now I'm gonna put it into the cinnamon sugar. Okay, so now I'm pouring myself drink of the white glück. I can't wait to try it. Let's see here. Mmm. This is really nice. It tastes so good. It, I can tell you, taste all the spices in it, as well as the rim of the glass. I have the coating of the cinnamon sugar, and it's so cool. It jazzes it up. You know, even if you don't have a party, you should just do it for yourself, because it tastes so amazing. Mmm. 
Now, be sure to check out our upcoming videos. My mother's coming out with more holiday recipes and let us know if you have any requests as well. And have a great week, guys. School. Bye.